Finding that product market fit was one of the greatest feelings that you can encounter in a startup journey. Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Instagrid. Instagrid is developing and selling portable power stations. This is meant as a portable power supply for professionals. If you think about construction workers or if you think about event technology, so wherever you don't have the grid right next to you, we bring you a small box that's based on batteries, is silent, is emission-free, that covers you up. One of the experiences that made us develop the first Instagrid product was really looking at a customer that was trying to get mobile electricity in the field. So that guy was operating a generator and that guy had to lift that generator with four people out of the trunk and then need to jumpstart it and at the same time have all of the fuel logistics behind it. And of course, with the knowledge that we had, we thought about why, why is it still so today? So can't there be something better like a socket that you just take with you? By looking at the generator, we defined how a product should look like and we resonated that with customers and what came out was five different things that the product needs to have. One is grid-like power. The second one is lightweight, so you can carry it in one hand. The third one is small size, so you can't fit it into any size of trunk. And the fourth one is robustness and waterproofness. And the fifth one is just enough energy to bring you through your workday. If you just go out to the world after five years of hard work and you say, ta-da, this is the product, and the customer tells you, I'd like to have something different. This is not where it starts, but this is where it ends. And that's why Hightech Gründerfor advised us a lot in that respect. And we had quite some deep dive sessions as well. So for us, it was really important to find that product market fit, to really nail it, to get the desire from the customer and get early feedback from the market. Instead of having a perfect product, we went out to the world with a looks like prototype at the very beginning. And we were just 3D printing shells of a design that could be or could not be, just to make sure people start thinking about it. We glued it together and we took the sand from the sandbox of my children to make it the right weight. So the first answers that we received were really great because the people could already touch the product. They could tell us about the weight, they could tell us about the design, they could tell us about the interfaces that they need. And without that, we would have taken much longer to develop a perfect product. The startup can only survive if you have customers that are willing to use your product, to pay your product um, and, and to make your company grow. And without that product market fit, it's never possible. And this is not only true for hardware, this is true for software, for services, for anything that you can imagine. If you don't have that product market fit, you're never going to succeed and that's why this is the greatest feeling that you can experience. First of all, go out as early as possible. Take a wooden box or a cardboard box or whatever you think reflects your product the best and start receiving feedback because you can only improve your product towards product market fit if others see it and reflect it. It is great to be embarrassed for your first product because it's not perfect, because something is just not working right. You can always fix that, but you have to be in the market early to take that first mover advantage to get valuable feedback. The second one is make sure that you not only know what you're good at, but make sure that you know what you're not good at. Hire not the same people that you are. If you're tech-minded, don't hire the techies, but hire people with functions that are missing in your startup. And the third one is really see this as a journey. The product market fit journey doesn't end when you reach product market fit, but it really continues throughout the product life cycle. And you really always have to make sure you have that product market fit nailed. Product market fit doesn't have to be there for 100%. If it needs to be there for 100%, it means you probably look at a very, very small market and you're not likely to find investors anyhow. But with a huge market potential, it is fine to have product market fit reached for 70 or 80%. And the rest you can still get along the way, but really focus on the impact and focus on the mass.